All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about cervical manual muscle tests. And the first one we're gonna go over is called capital flexion. And the thing to remember about this is that it's just like a nod. So you're really just asking them to move that very upper cervical part. As they do this test, the back of their head should stay flat on the table at all points in time. If their, if their posterior head or if their occiput comes up off the table, then that's a failed test and you're gonna to need to ask them to do it again. This is not a huge motion. Again, we're talking about just that very upper cervical level that we're going to be assessing. And as you do this, all you're asking them to do is just tuck their chin a little bit. So to do just a chin tuck, they would come in and then try to just pull their chin down. Go ahead and go, there you go, Val, perfect. And as she does that, that right there would be a three because she was able to do it and it's against gravity. If we're gonna start from the bottom, what you would do is you would have them just be in a relaxed position and you would have your fingers on their anterior muscles. And then if you feel nothing, even though you ask them to do that chin tilt, chin tilt, then you wouldn't feel any muscle activity at all. And then if you ask them to do it and you could feel muscle activity, but you didn't see any motion, then that would be a one. Then if you ask them to do it and you could feel motion and you see just a little, little bit of a chin tuck, yeah, see that barely motion kind of thing? She's not going through her full motion. That would be a two, okay? So again, this is for capital flexion. When we're gonna do a three, what you would do is you would still see this motion here, but she would actually be able to do a full chin tuck. So go ahead again for me, that's beautiful, just like that. And then she would come back out of it. That's a three. For a four, what we can do is we can actually resist them. So we're gonna put our fingers on their inferior jawline and you're going to resist that chin tuck and she's gonna come down and hold it. But now, two, one of two things is gonna happen. Either she's not gonna be able to go through the full motion or you're not gonna really be able to apply max resistance as she's doing this. And then for a five, you're gonna be able to resist and they're gonna be able to come down and you should be able to hold it at the end and not break them, okay? So this again is capital flexion and how we go through the zero to five manual muscle tests.